To help support me and the channel, you can use one of the links below and press the notifications bell to alert you of a new video. Now, back to the video. Hello guys, this is Red from Red's Third Dimension Gaming and today I'm bringing you another review on another P-Cube visual novel game. Sometimes big budget visual novels are hard to find, but there are a plentiful amount of small visual novel games out there. Kotadama, The Seven Mysteries of Fujisawa is P-Cube's latest visual novel that's available for the Nintendo Switch, PS4, and Windows PC. Kotodama is based around you, either male or female, your choice, the new arrival at Fujisawa Academy. At first, this game seems like a typical high school anime with not much for a story. However, once you're introduced to Nanami, she will show you around the school and you will also be introduced to the Occult Research Club. With this club, you will investigate seven mysteries of Fujisawa Academy. Not only does your character join the Occult Club, but he also has made a pact with a demon who grants him the power of Kotodama, the power of words. This is one of the main gameplay elements of the game too. Your job is to confront a questionable person into telling you the truth. There are seven mysteries which equals seven chapters to explore and this will equal to about five to ten hours of story and gameplay. There are a few choices and a gameplay part to the game that will help you in discovering the true ending. So in order to get the true ending you will most likely need to play through the game more than once. Once you actually have some insight on the game character's true intentions, you can easily make the best choices in the game. If you only want to play once, you'll probably only get one of the many other endings, not the true ending. I feel like the story starts slow and gets a little bit better the more you play. Um, as a whole, the story was so-so. It was okay. There are a couple of gameplay elements to help you in your little investigation adventure. The first one that you're introduced to is the Kododama system. It may look like Candy Crush, but it isn't. You want to move blocks from any lower tier in order to make patterns and combos. I'll show you exactly how the game explains it right now. <laughs> だからといってあのドルじゃないよ。現実の対象者の心の強さ、左側に丸い玉の形をしたパネルが見えるぞ。これがことだなさ。あんたの放つ言葉のパネルを決定すると、列の一番上へワープする。縦か横に3個以上つ
動したみたいだねムーブの回数が回復で喜んでいる声も聞こえたけどその声がエネルギーとなってあんた4つあるアイコンはそれぞれ違いがあるんだチャレンジが成功しやすいアイコンは成功しても回復量が低い成功しにくいアイコンは成功すると回復量が多いんだよアイコンの違いを把握してどのアイコンを使うか決めるんだよそうそう大事なことを忘れてたよチャレンジに失敗すると相手が怒る時があるんだ怒るとあんたを邪魔する邪魔じゃんこの調子でもう一回。パネルを多く消すと特殊パネルが発生するんだ特殊パネルは決定さあやってこおう爆弾を中心に電差をつなげてパネルを多く消せればムーブの回数が一定期間いらなくなるカウントロックや言霊をぶつけた時のゲージが多い特定の属性のパネルをランダムに種類すべて消すルーレットよし私がIf you succeed, you can force the person that you are interrogating into telling you the truth. You will continue breaking them down until they are completely stripped. And I cannot say any more because maybe this will cause a problem with YouTube. If you are wondering if this is only females, you are wrong. We strip both men and women in this game. It does feel very easy and not difficult. I never had trouble in this game. And even if you are having trouble figuring out where you want to move a block, the game will automatically bump a block for you. It'll pulsate on a suggestion. That'll at least get you something. It doesn't always get you combos, but it'll give you something in order to continue. There is also Quacker, which is Twitter for the school. It's nothing special. You can also look at the words book. Again, I didn't really care for much of this gameplay. This wasn't really anything exciting. Also, if you're actually looking for the people to be, like I said earlier, can't say the word, look towards a PC release. Maybe it will show you more than just the characters in their undies. There is also a fantasize mode, which I can't show you anything in this review because it'll just automatically, you know, YouTube. <laughs> There is also a fantasize mode, which you can start in your character's room or in the main menu once you unlock it. You can play this on normal or hard difficulty. At first, you're going to have to play on normal, and then eventually you can play on hard difficulty. This is just replaying puzzles against characters that you already interrogated, so it's nothing special. The graphics for this game are nothing special. It looks like a low budget anime styled visual novel. The lip movement for many characters look a little off. I don't understand why, but a lot of them look off. The lips just move, but it doesn't always seem to match up with the voices. I think that the cat, Manchan, is the best looking character in the game, and his lip movement was not bad. Overall, the game is just an average visual novel game. The gameplay doesn't add anything substantial to the short story to warrant a $40 price tag. I think if you buy the special day one edition, you get stickers, two sets of like five stickers or something. It's nothing special, you should wait. I honestly think this game should be $10 to $20. It's not worth $40. I'm giving this game a 5 out of 10. I think if you like visual novel games, you'll probably like this one, but I would definitely wait on a price cut. It just doesn't feel like it should be a $40 game. If the price was significantly lower, I'd give it a higher rating, but the price $40 is way too high for this game. 
it should be lower. You should pay 10 to $20 max for this game, and that's all I'm saying. Thank you guys for watching. If you would like to buy the game for $40, or if you're watching this review later, and it is $20 or $30 or cheaper, and you want to help support my channel, you can use one of the links below. I'd like to give a quick shout out to my patrons for the month of June. Yo-Yo Mongo, Sten0328, MikeShadow24, and Snizzy Snaz Bullets. Thank you guys for being my patrons for this month. And if you would like to become a patron, you can use the Patreon link below and donate to my channel for as little as a dollar a month. If you don't want to become a patron, that's fine. You can help support my channel by using any affiliate link below, or you can donate in any other way that you think is necessary. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next review.